What's up guys? Welcome to Minecraft. I said I was going to do a video, so here I am doing a video. Now this is in my my more personal world. This is just what I created when I bought Minecraft so I could, you know, get back up to speed with all the mechanics and stuff. But I'm going to start putting out a few Minecraft videos. It won't be the main thing I do on my channel. I'm going to try to do a plethora of things. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, this is my little humble abode. I've got, you know, some basics. A trash disposal. It works. A uh, little chest right here. I'm probably going to be building more. I've got some barrels to put down, actually, while I'm here. Um, where do I want to put them? Um, I think I'm going to... Okay, okay. Ladder, I need you to work. I think I'm going to... Yeah. And that'll give me a few nice places to put some things. Now, one of my favorite things about my house is the escape hatch. It leads down into this nice little underwater tunnel. I've got couple ways to get out through here. I've got the very bottom way. It leads me out to the back. Into my little farming area where I have a lot of wheat. Because I use bread for my food. Uh, if you'll actually see. I have stacks upon stacks of bread. Actually I need to use trash disposal. Now when I go back through here. Take a second. I have multiple exits inside of this, so I have what I call, I don't really have a name for each one of them, but this is more like a back door. That leads down and out into the side of the side of the hill, and this leads down and out into the side. And these are more like, like quick escapes. If I need to really get it. Now, it's just pretty much an island. There's not really much. But, one couple of cool things I found out while uh, exploring home. One is my skeleton farm, which I actually haven't checked in. Hopefully, it's not destroyed and there's nothing spawning outside of it because I've had some problems with skeletons spawning and creepers spawning outside of the farm which really confuses me a couple of those cobblestone I'll take that but it really confused me because I had enough light all the way around it that it shouldn't have been happening but here I am. I had to deal with some of those problems, but it's a good little system. They spawn in, they walk, they get pushed right here, and then all of their stuff goes into the back. Sometimes it's a little slow. walk around it a little bit. Sometimes that helps. Check around, make sure there's nothing going to spawn and gank me. I had a creeper spawn and as soon as I turned around from the chest, he appeared. This pretty much doesn't lead into anything. As far as I know, there could be something like on the other side. I do hear water, so there could be something on the other side of that. But... Most that water and skeleton sounds I'm hearing are from the actual uh, spawner. Now I found this just trying to find some iron when I first really started. Yeah, sometimes it gets a little stuck and you gotta...
Oh. It's not working right now. I'll just leave it alone. It it's hit or miss on whether it works. But as far as farms, that's like one of my main ones. got a regular mine right here that goes all that goes down pretty far now it's not my main mine anymore because oh I do have a lot of cobblestone huh didn't even realize I thought I had honestly I thought I had way less throw some of this granite and diorite in here and andesite So I thought I weigh less of that, but this one goes pretty deep. I don't remember if there are any branches off of this one. It's like a tiny mid 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 range ravine. Ravine is what I was trying to say, but apparently I can't fucking talk today. But I've pretty much explored every little nook and cranny of this. I haven't like went looking for branched caves or anything like anything that branches off of it. And there's still a lot of coal in here that I could mine. And a lot of stuff I could do with this, make it a little base, you know. But what I really want to show y'all is outside of this. And now I gotta get back up, which this goes pretty far, both ways. And like I said, I've explored pretty much everywhere. I can't really find any branches that interested me, and it doesn't really go that deep. I need to let this one. Now I do need to hurry. Wait. Do need to hurry because it is dark outside. You know, what, you know what happens when it gets dark in Minecraft? Nothing's spawning yet. Oh, that is a skeleton with gold pants. Do I have any arrows? Nope. I think I can take him. Any creepers around? Nope. Uh, I don't think we're going to go pants. So I have a nice little little wheat farm going over here. I keep it pretty much stocked. A lot of wheat, a lot of seeds. Get out of my farm. Now, one thing I've noticed he is wearing shoes. One thing I've noticed is that Zombies can see you from a long ways away compared to, to all of the other mobs. And I don't know why that is. Probably just something that they built into the into the mob itself. But zombies can see you from what feels like miles away. Like this dude. He's following me. And I know he's not going to drop those shoes. Exactly. But I think I'm gonna Oh look a spider cool. Because I don't have any torches on my house. Around this corner. I need to find a better lighting solution definitely. But um Oh, and I also have this. So one of the things and you've probably seen this if you watch Minecraft videos, is that in this new update you can crawl. Just like this. And all because of the trapdoors. This is just a way, I guess, that I created to get around the, the underside of my house. And I don't want to hop in there, so I'm going to block that off. Put some torches down under here so that nothing, no spiders or anything can spawn. I don't think they can spawn in that low of a area, but yeah. So another couple things down there. I have 
right there is a cobblestone generator and then right over there is a well and that little just random block that is an enderman mine or an enderman you know fighting mm. generator whatever you want to call it Gosh. pretty much it's too short Gosh. for enderman to walk under Gosh. but it's tall enough for me to walk under so <laughs> i can look at an enderman from far away he'll see me he'll go absolutely crazy like endermen tend to do and then i can just start popping him now i'm just gonna go to bed real quick make it daytime that does look nice the barrels i like that all right and of course i'm probably playing on the inside because why not all right Let's see if i can go farm some Arrows off the dead skellies. Cool. That's a couple. I think. Two. Yep. Did it in. But yeah, so little Enderman farm right here, and then I built my my cobblestone farm, my cobblestone generator with the same like water system, even though it, half the time it doesn't even work. Pretty much just so I can stand here, and I probably want to use a. If you're gonna do something like that in your in your world, it's probably best to use a stone pickaxe because it takes long enough with a stone pickaxe that one you can just have infinite stone pickaxes. I need to delete this. Yeah, I made this. I was trying to get away from something one day. But I was trying to say is it. Gives enough time for a new piece of stone to spawn while also allowing you to. What was the word I was looking for? I'm blanking. While also allowing you to collect all of the cobblestone. This was the first place I landed on this map or on this, uh, this screen because I came around like a few corners. Like there's a village, two villages down around, like all the way around, and it's a couple, few hundred blocks away. Got my trusty little boat. Now, for the big part of this that I didn't know. So, when I started on this map, when I was around, standing around here, I could just constantly hear cave sounds. Like, the sounds you hear only when you're near a cave system. Finally, one day, I decided I was going to dig in to the side of this little hill right here and that's when I found what looks like just a regular cave right well until you look down there and there's the music I found a whole ravine right underneath my nose ah, I did not mean to do that that sounds close Now, okay. Oh yeah, there was a tiny little cave system here. Why does that sound so close? Like, I feel, okay, so I feel like there's more to this cave than the eye, but I haven't been a oh wait. Where the f where did you spawn? There's nowhere with enough light for you to spawn up here. That makes no sense. But yeah, so there could be like little side side passageways and stuff like that that I'm missing off up here at least. 
but I am going to, oh, I forgot all my iron was, um, well, shit, but yeah, so my pickaxe is about to die, but first I want to try mining it this way a little bit, just to see. All right, I'm back. Uh, I've got the pick, and let's go. I really need to put a block there. And also, what's with this music? Like this is, that's like the darkest music they could have picked. It sounds like a, like an absolute horror movie. Um, so yeah, I built a little series of like passageways. Etc. Just to get around without falling, and if a mob attacks, I'll have a way, you know, to get around. Um, now I have had a problem with mobs falling from the ceiling, but I think I fixed that with some clever torch placement. Um, and I'm also, oh yeah, that. So I forgot where that little cave was, and I'm trying to go down to it now because. I need to you know, stop mobs from coming out of it. So I think right here I will build a nice little quick staircase down into it. Which should, should be alright, should be safe. Probably not. Don't know. Well, that was nice and scary. Hey, fucker, I'm over here. Nope. 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 Dead. I don't like how long their uh their sound effect lasts after you kill them. Okay, so there's a spider, it looks like. Come on. Dead. Alright. Great. Great. Just great. So, I hear lava. Oh, it's a mini ravine. Cool. That's gonna be a... Shit. I'm gonna say this is not good at the moment. Just because of, like, the fact that I already have so much in that one ravine to discover. Yep, needed that. And you gave me, oh look, this one's connected to the outside but through the water. So I feel like I did see a cave through water and I just couldn't find my way to it. So now, piece by piece, it looks like I'm going to have to connect all this. I 
here another skelly. Is he above me? Oh, sounds like he's below me. Yep. Oh, look, and it's part of this. So there's a uh, system of these abandoned mine shafts that I've been that I've been through a little bit, but it just goes so far that I'm scared to like actually go through the whole thing because I just don't want to lose my place or like lose my bearing on where I am and get stuck. Because that has happened many, many times, and it's never fun. Ah, they saw me. It's never fun, and it kind of just makes me not even want to play a world anymore when that happens. But knowing this is here and having it mostly lit up to where nothing can really come from it. Well, at least this side. I don't know if that was, was that the whole... Yeah, that was this whole little cave so, so that's a mini ravine great awesome shit but yeah so I think I'm gonna end it there and uh, we'll come back to this I guess I'm not really good at Minecraft videos I'm not really good at Minecraft but I'll figure it out as we go so thanks for watching have a good day. Bye.